What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is legacy. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. Legacy, what does that mean to you? So I've got this vision inside of my head. I mean, if you're inside of my head, there's there's quite a few visions, right? That's the, I've manifested, I've seen, I've worked, I've created, I've done all these things from thoughts. Thoughts became things, good or bad, which I think if you hang around me long enough, you're going to understand and take the same fucking course of action. But I have this one burning desire inside of me. See, what I do, I have a great life. I have an amazing life. i got an amazing wife. Well, she's a fiance, soon to be wife. My, my, my business structure is great. The people around me are great. The people's lives I help change are great. But, and I do this because I've got a lot of good shit going on for me. But at the end of the day, I don't necessarily do all this for me. I do this for my kids, 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 kids down the road, maybe kids further that are never going to meet me. I know this. I've got that vision that I've talked about where all the kids that I've never met, the generations after generations after generations, there's pictures in this hallway of all my founding fathers before me, right? Anybody who was a Genesis before me on different lineages, like I can see this. I'm not saying it's going to truly happen, but I can see all these different people. I had some good people in my past, but some bad people. Like each, each person did what they did in their life, and that's the legacy that they left. But it comes to me, and there's my picture. You know, there's some after me, and then there's there's me right here. And these kids go and they say this because of this guy right here, because of this dude, because of this great 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 grandpa or great great uncle, or because of this guy right here. We have opportunities that only few can fathom. Think about that for a second. My goal, my vision is so much stronger than just me and the the purpose I have in my life right this today to actually create things that change. I'm talking Rockefeller modern. I'm talking about lifestyles like the Kennedys. I'm talking about Donald Trump. Now, I'm not in that social circle. I'm not in that lifestyle. But that doesn't mean that I can't make that impact. So when I think about this, we always talk about the, the pockets where alcohol fit in and, and these things. Now, the seven, the seven, of the seven F, the fifth F is the future. The future is the one that has helped me successfully beat this thing day in and day out. That's what's helped me control the drinking, what I've wanted to drink. It's helped me. It's really helped me with the discipline because I can actually see, feel, touch, taste, smell what I'm working for. And the cool thing about this is when you work with me, I can show you how to take tangible or take thoughts and turn them into tangible things in a very, very short period of time to actually get back on track to pull you out of that fucking gutter that your mind's in. But where I'm going with this is I don't do this for me. I do this because I want to make a fucking impact. And when you look at that future that you can create, you don't have to have the same, the same mentality as me. You can get the most out of every single day today to live your le- your best life for the family you have right now. Where in your life does alcohol actually pop in there and, and actually add to what you're doing? I've heard I've heard this excuse from many men over and over and over, right? And uh, it's typically in money management. The guys want to do deals out at uh, you know happy hours, or they want to talk, and for some fucking reason, dudes think that because if they if they drink or they drink with their clients, they're going to get them to sign bigger deals or to get the accounts and whatever. And, and I get that, right? I mean, it does have some pockets periodically inside of work. But at the end of the day, if your whole business model is based off of drinking, you're fucked. Any relationship forged off of drinking is not a real relationship, period. It doesn't mean it can get stronger, but you have to do the work. You have to remove yourself outside and from the alcohol. So if you're creating your future and you're thinking about it, okay, where does this alcohol fit in? And then let's just say you do hypothetically go in and you close a big deal. Things are great. and You've got... You get a guy like me who's doing well and you, you get to make some money off him long term for the rest of your life. What happens the next day when you woke up with that hangover and you decided to drink by yourself down in your office and you got the shakes and you feel like shit, but you keep going and going and going. Then you go out to your boat, car, spend time with the kids, but you don't fucking show up and feel 100% clarity and certainty with them. You're not unleashing this power within. How's that adding to your life? How's that adding to that future? I have a client right now that's working with me. Amazing dude. Amazing. He's got a skill set that he doesn't even fucking, he hasn't even began to tap into. He's charismatic. He's well-spoken. He's bilingual. He's actually multilingual, I believe. And he can do all these fucking amazing things. But for some reason, the success and the money equates to drinking. 
And we know the deep protocol. I'm not here to break down his thing, but I'm telling you this. I told him, and like I'll tell you, the future isn't created by drinking with somebody else. If that person will only do business with you because you fucking drink with him, you're fucking selling yourself short. There's 7 billion people on this planet. If you can't find 3, 4, 5, 10, 1,000 more people, you don't need everybody. You only need a few to change your life. So, future. Where does it look like for you today? Legacy. What is your legacy you're leaving behind right now? Are you showing up present? Are you going to have more kids? What about this legacy? Does it go deeper? I posted a picture of my nephew, my niece, um, my three kids. You know, there were six of us. We actually have seven core kids in my life right now that I truly, truly, truly look after them. I'm responsible for. Um, you know, or my actions, I should say. I'm not responsible for them. Their parents are. But me and my um, my wife and our three kids and then my brother and his four kids. So there's seven kids right there that have direct reflections of the fact that if I choose to drink or not, that could fuck up my business. Because if it fucks up my business, if it fucks up the people I'm helping, if it fucks up the future that I'm here working on people, then it fucks up my brother's job. And I know that, the severity. So when I look at that picture and that vision, that future, that legacy that I'm trying to create, I'm working towards it every single day. So today... I kind of went on a rant there. I want you to look at your legacy. Simple. Are you leading by example? Or are you leading by the bottle? Are you leaving room on the table? Where can you make some adjustments? And if, like always, you need help, we can help you. I'm a comeback.com forward slash apply. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. Go ahead and type that in. We will reach out to you, myself, my team, my brother, somebody who works with me, and we will actually leave you better than we found you. We say this day in and day out. We'll go through an application process, a highly a high level screening process, see if we can help you. But no matter what, we're going to leave you better we found you, but it's worth the click on the button. Click the link. Let's see if we can help you. And that's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. I hope you have an amazing day. Go out, create that legacy, and we'll see you on tomorrow's episode.